वेलकाम टू सुपिरियर प्रफिट उइकलि मार्केट राउंड आप इलेवेन्थ मे टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन आम सागर नंदी चीफ एनालिस्ट एंड ट्रेडर एट सुपिरियर प्रफिट बेस्ट इन सिंगापुर आई उल नट टेक टाइम टू इंट्रड्यूस माइ सेल्फ इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड टू फाइंड आउट मोर अबाउट मी द कम्पनी और इट्स ट्रेडिंग सिसटेम्स एंड प्रोडक्ट यू मे भिजिट द वेबसाइट सुपिरियर प्रफिट डट को Before we begin, we go through the standard disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on Superior Profits trading system. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. Superior Profit is not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. Superior Profit will have no liability for any investment decision made by its audience. As usual, in today's topics, we will look at oil and gold using technical charts. They tend to impact related stocks. When swing trading stocks, we like to align them with the market's direction. We'll study market's direction using NASDAQ and NYSE market bread and technical analysis of market ETFs. In addition to aligning our trades with the market's direction, we like to align them with the industry strength. We'll study that using scorecard and heat map. Along the way, we may look at some of the recent trade ideas shared in our Traders Forum. You may also visit our Traders Forum from our website homepage. And we will look for potential trades for the coming week. That was the last slide of the presentation. Let's move to live system. We begin our commodities analysis with oil. We are looking at the oil ETF USO using weekly backdrop chart template and daily hop on chart template. Together we call this at a glance template because this template helps us decide if there is a low risk swing trade entry opportunity at the right edge of the chart in only a few seconds. For three weeks, oil is coming down in the weekly chart. This week's candle shape is indecisive and the color is also neutral, yellow. Last week in the market roundup, looking at price being close to the lower boundary and also close to the yellow direction line, I mentioned that we were not going to take any short trade at that time. And price was coming down in the daily chart. Therefore, we were not going to take any long trade as well. This week, price didn't move much. It moved sideways. It is supported by memory support trend line. And there is a memory resistance line at the top. Therefore, it is inside a triangle pattern near the lower end of the triangle pattern. If it breaks below the triangle pattern, then you may look for a low risk short trade entry opportunity. Otherwise, you may wait for price to break out to the upside above this memory resistance line before trying any long trade in oil. Gold ETF GLD. This week GLD went up. However, the weekly activity is exceptionally low. The weekly candle color is neutral yellow 
and it is very close to a resistance memory trend line. If we look back, we see that GLD is moving sideways for 4 weeks. In the daily chart, price is moving in a zigzag fashion. There is no clear trend. In the daily also, it is close to multiple memory resistance trend lines. There is no swing trade opportunity in gold right now. Market breadth analysis using NASDAQ Composite Index and NYSE Composite Index weekly interval. Along with three pairs of internals, new high low, advanced decline, and up down volume. Both NASDAQ and NYSE declined this week. However, they both ended with indecisive shape candle. The candle traffic light color turned bearish red. Over longer term, both of them are continuing to be in an uptrend. The internals are also mixed. All the internals tilted down. Only new high low for NASDAQ closed in the negative. All the other internals closed in the positive. Internals are also showing an indecisive picture. The indecision of the broad market is also visible in the market ETFs. Here we are looking at SPY, QQQ, DIA and IWM all using weekly charts. When price was going up and it was approaching the watermark resistance levels in SPY and QQQ. At that time I mentioned in the weekly market roundup that if price could cross above the watermark resistance levels and come down below it, that would create false upside breakouts and that might give short term shorting opportunities, if not in the ETFs in underlying weak fundamental stocks. That came to be true, both SPY and QQQ created false upside breakouts. During that time, I shared multiple swing short trading ideas in our traders forum and most if not all of them ended in a profit. This week ended with indecisive shape candle for all the market ETFs. That is showing that it may be better to see where the market is going to go before taking new swing trades. Daily charts of the ETFs are also showing indecision. For four of the five days, market tried to go down but rallied before the close. That resulted in large hollow candles that started with a gap down or it resulted in candles with long lower tails. This is also showing indecision in the market it may be safer to see where the market is going. Let the direction be clearer before taking new swing trades. One month sector performance. Here we are looking at the 11 sectors across three review periods. The red bar represents performance of the current week green bar performance of one week ago and blue bar performance of two weeks prior to that. One week ago markets went up strongly 
SPY and QQQ had made new all-time highs. That was the time when eight of the sectors ended in the positive. The green bars came to the right of the zero line. This week, all that gain reversed. Not only those eight sectors, but all the 11 sectors ended in the negative. The three sectors that ended with less decline, they are all conservative sectors. They are consumer staples, utilities and real estate. That is showing bearishness of the market. We saw that market breadth is indecisive. Market ETFs are also indecisive. However, at the sector level, we see bearishness. If the market resolves to the downside, then there may be many low risk shorting opportunities. However, as I already mentioned, it will be better to wait for the market's direction to be clearer before taking new swing trades. The market level is telling us to wait to see where the direction is before taking new swing trades. However, the market level is quite broad. Using sector industry rotation analysis, stock fundamental and peer analysis, and technical analysis and aligning all their forces together, it is always possible to look for low risk buying opportunities as well as shorting opportunities. Let's see if we can find such trading opportunities this week. Here is the sector scorecard and heat map. Here all the 11 sectors are analyzed over multiple review periods for 12 monthly review periods and then more frequently over recent days, 10 day, 5 day period, etc. And we have a heat map and scorecard for all those periods. Cyan color represents strength and magenta represents weakness. In addition to the strength assessment, we can also find the acceleration and deceleration from the pace column. Cyan color represents acceleration and magenta represents deceleration. Using this heat map and scorecard, looking under the 5-day period, we can instantly see that consumer staples and utilities are the strongest sector now. All the sectors went down this week. However, relatively, these two are the strongest sectors. You may look for buying opportunities there. Where will you avoid buying? Those will be information technology and materials. Those are the worst performing sectors. You might even start to look for shorting opportunities in those sectors. Between materials and infotech, materials was already weak for a while, whereas infotech is becoming weak now. Its score is turning magenta. Earlier, it was cyan. Therefore, if the market tilts down now, then information technology may give more profitable shorting opportunities at the top. What about buying opportunities? Consumer staples is now the best performing sector and the pace column is showing that it is also the most accelerating sector. This may be a sector where you can drill down, look for fundamentally strong stocks that are also giving low risk technical buy points. Industry scorecard and heat map. I'm going to sort the industries using their five day performance. 
the strongest industries are shown in cyan color. If we look at the top 10 industries, we can see there are three industries in consumer staple sector. These are soft drinks, food retail and packaged foods and meats. Consumer staples is the best performing sector and three of its industries are among the top 10 industries. These industries may be the best industries to look for buying opportunities. Out of soft drinks, food retail and packaged foods and meats. If you wanted to choose one industry to look for buying opportunities, which one will that be? I'll choose packaged foods and meats because it is strong now. 5 days code is in cyan color. The other two are also strong. When we look at the paste column, we can see that packaged foods and meats is accelerating the most. Its paste score is also in cyan color. That is why if I was going to buy into one of the consumer staples industries, I would choose packaged foods and meats. Let's have a look at the stocks in packaged foods and meats industry. There are multiple stocks here. Out of them, several are undervalued. These are shown by cyan color score under this valuation column. K. Kellogg is one of them because this stock is undervalued and the industry is strong we may look for a low risk buy point on technical charts. This is K Kellogg using Q at a glance template and if you apply the unambiguous checklist for the trend following trade setup that we have that is the go with flow trend following trade setup then you will find a long trade setup as of Friday's close. The weekly backdrop candle color is bullish cyan weekly candle shape is very bullish in daily we had a higher high then price tilted down and then went up again with a higher low. It gave us a cyan flow color candle in the daily chart on Friday that met all the requirements of the go with flow trend following long trade setup. Interestingly, earlier it displayed the headwind reversal signal in the weekly chart as well as in the daily chart, almost at the very bottom. You could start to look for buying opportunities since then. And as of Friday, it has given us a trend following long trade setup. Kellogg was not the only buying opportunity in consumer staples. There are other buying opportunities as well. From the industry scorecard, it is clear that food retail is also very strong. It is now strong over one month period, 10 day period as well as 5 day period. Prior to that, the score was in magenta, it was weaker. A couple of weeks ago, I shared a possible long trade setup in one of the food retail stocks. I shared that in our traders forum. You may access the traders forum from our home page using the forum icon on the page or from the trade ideas 
forum submenu. In the forum, there are several categories. I share live trading ideas in the live 360 degrees stock analysis category. Let's search for a stock Kroger. This was a post I shared one month ago on 11th April. As I tend to do, I attached the 360 degrees analysis snapshots as of that time. The food retail industry was week earlier magenta and it was turning cyan. One day period score was strong and pace five day column was showing that it was accelerating as well. We saw just now from live scorecard that now one month period score is also cyan. However, when I shared it at that time one month period score was magenta, I was able to identify the trade based on one day score and also based on the acceleration shown by base column. How was the fundamental score? KR Kroger was undervalued shown by cyan color undervaluation column. And technicals. Q chart gave a long breakout trade setup at that time. Earlier it had a big drop. It moved sideways for a while and as of the date of my post, it had a strongly bullish shape candle. Candle flow color was also bullish, cyan. It went up with extreme bullish pressure and it broke above the memory resistance line. Weekly had a bullish shape candle and it also displayed a bull release signal. That was a low risk breakout long trade entry opportunity in Kroger. From Q industry scorecard, we can see that the industry is now stronger. Now one month score is also cyan. How is Kroger's fundamentals now? Let's do a fundamental and PR analysis of Kroger. We have multiple PR stocks, nine PR stocks. Out of them, on Friday, seven went up and only one went down. Over two-day period, all the stocks went up. Over 5-day and 10-day periods, the result was mixed. Almost equal number of stocks went up and went down. We can see from these statistics that all the stocks in this industry, food retail industry, are now starting to go up on Thursday and Friday. The stock Kroger is still undervalued because the valuation score is showing in cyan color. How is the technical charts now? This is Kroger as of Friday's market close using live Q charts. I had shared the breakout trade idea on this day. After that, it went up and then moved sideways for a number of days. And on Friday, it broke out again of another memory resistance trend line. When I shared the trade idea earlier on this candle, that time the weekly candle color was neutral. And this week's candle color, backdrop candle color is bullish, cyan. 
and the weekly candle shape is also bullish. This is giving us another breakout long trade setup in the stock. Looking back, you can see that using Q technique, I could catch the stock at the very bottom. If you didn't take a long position at that time, you can still take a long position using Friday's breakout trade setup and put stop just below the recent low. That will still give you a very low risk entry opportunity. You could identify two buying opportunities in Kroger and Kellogg using 360 degrees analysis where you could align the industry strength, fundamental strength and technical strength together. Just like you could find buying opportunities in strong industries or accelerating industries, you could look for shorting opportunities in weak industries or decelerating industries. Which are the weakest industries of this week? We can find them by sorting over 5 day period. The weakest industries are shown by magenta color under that column. What are the most decelerating industries? We can find them by sorting over base 5 day period. The most decelerating industries are shown by magenta color under that column. You might drill down into these weak industries or decelerating industries to look for shorting opportunities. At minimum, if you are holding any long position, you may either book profit or protect profit using trailing stop. You may see this Q360 degrees technique in action from our forum page where I regularly post live trade ideas. You might also follow us using the Twitter page or our Facebook page. That is all that I plan to share in today's session. Thank you for attending. I look forward to seeing you in our next session. Have a great week and trade profitably.